Hey guys, welcome to Freshers Camp. So we are back with another topic of oval preparation today, which is voice of voice. Hey guys, welcome to Freshers Camp. So we are back with another topic of oval preparation today, which is voice of a sentence. Before moving on to the topic, let me tell you about our channel. So we provide regular updates on government jobs, technical, non-technical, and all other type of job opportunities. as well as preparation material for campus placements and government jobs do not forget to like comment and subscribe the channel also hit the bell icon for daily updates moving further about today's topic which is voice of a sentence so basically in a sentence there can be either two types of voices active or passive active voice describes a sentence where the subject performs the action started by the verb it follows a clear subject plus verb plus object construct that's very easy to read in fact sentence constructed in the active voice add impact to your writing uh, if you are confused with the thing about subject that how we find the subject in our sentence so i'll give you an example ask that sentence about what or who so we'll take example here let's see if we have a sentence of how will they get here ask the sentence about who or what what can you ask in the sentence who will get here right so or how will they get here so here who is getting where they are getting so this they that is the subject in this sentence so with passive voice the subject is created upon by the verb it makes for a murky roundabout sentence you can more be straightforward with the active voice as such there are many ways to change the passive voice to active voice in your sentence over time writing an active voice will become a second nature let's explore several examples so now we will see few examples for active voice So what you need to do is you have to pay special attention to the subject in each sentence. Is the subject subject performing the action denoted by the verb? If yes, so you have a chance to get a clear return and a beautiful statement. In passive voice what happens is the subject is no longer performing the action of the verb. Rather it's being acted upon by the verb. Put another way, the subject of a sentence in the passive voice is no longer the doer of the action, but the recipient of the action. Meanwhile, what was the subject of a sentence in the active voice, the doer, becomes the agent in the equivalent passive voice sentence. So let's see a few examples here. So basically, this is a comparison table between active voice and passive voice. Harry ate six shrimp at dinner. and passive voice it would be at dinner six shrimp were eaten by harry beautiful giraffes roam the savanna the savanna is roamed by beautiful giraffes sue changed the flat tire the flat tire was changed by sue we are going to watch a movie tonight a movie is going to be watched by us tonight i ran the obstacle course in the record time the obstacle course was run by me in the record time so you can see that there are a lot of examples here which are uh, basically a difference in active and passive voice and if you read all the examples here i assure you that you will be way to expert in the active and passive voice read all the examples thousand of tourist visits So the Grand Canyon is visited by thousands of tourists. So here comes the most difficult part. So to change a sentence from active to passive voice, we have a certain rules. We cannot do it as our wish, right? Move the active sentence direct object into the subjective slot. Let's say if a sentence is Marilyn mailed the letter. So letter is the object here. We are moving the object into sentence subject. So in passive voice, it will become the subject. The letter by Marilyn is mailed, somewhat like that. Second is place the active sentence subject into a phrase beginning with the preposition by. Marilyn mailed the letter. So the letter was 
mailed by Marilyn. Somewhat like that it was be. So, third is add a form of the auxiliary verb be to the main verb and change the main verb's form. So, Marilyn mailed the what uh, letter and mailed is the verb here. So, the letter was mailed by Marilyn. Verb plus be auxiliary. Okay. So, I hope with this you are clear. You can convert any sentence to from active to passive voice. So, let's see how to convert the sentence from passive to active now. So, to change a passive voice sentence into a active voice sentence, we have to reverse the steps that were told above for active to passive. Move the passive sentence subject into active sentence and direct object, right? The letter was mailed by Marilyn. Letter is the subject here. We'll take it as an object in active voice. So, the letter will be at last. That is object. Remove the auxiliary verb B from the main verb and change the main verb form if needed. The letter was mailed. Mailed the letter. Place the passive sentence object of the preposition by into the subject slot. So by Marilyn. Marilyn mailed the letter. So these are the main steps by which you can convert your sentence into active and to passive or vice versa. And we have already seen few examples. In the description, there is a practice sheet in which few sentences are given. Uh, solve that and do not forget to like, comment and subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon for daily updates. Thank you.